Sorry, guys. Hi, how you doing? Okay, so I've got some babies here. I'm going to change them as usual, but I have kind of a big announcement. I have Laura, I have Micah back here, and I have Kennedy back here, and Kerrigan has been sold. Yes, I'm sad. Yes, I miss her, but um, we have a new baby coming, and to me, this is a huge deal. Huge deal. Um, I know that I've said that Laura is my um, dream baby and blah, 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 which she is. I've always wanted a Harlow. I'm so happy to have her. Um, but there's been one baby, one sculpt in particular, that I have wanted since the very first time I ever saw the sculpt. And I always thought it was out of my reach. I was never going to get it. Um, so why even bother? Blah, blah, blah. Well, I got it. I got it, and I can't believe it. I, I, I don't, I'm like, <laughs> I can't, I don't even have words to tell you guys how freaking excited I am to get this baby. Um, she's all paid off. Um, she's probably, yeah, she's my most expensive baby. Um, and then Laura. But, uh, yeah, guys, she'll be here. Like I said, she's already all paid off. But the, the person who has her now can't get to the post office until Saturday. So, today is Wednesday. So, Saturday. So, she'll be here next week. And I I can't even stand myself with how excited I am. I'm just, like, when I finally realized, okay, this is actually happening, that she's mine, I was shaking. That's how stinking excited I was. Oh, my gosh. And, like, just talking about it right now, I am beyond thrilled. I cannot wait to get this baby. She, oh my lord, guys, she's rooted. Okay, she's a she. <laughs> I was going to leave that as a surprise, but it's going to be a girl. Um, I only want one boy. Um, because he, I know it's probably weird, but I have three real boys, and um, I'm kind of tired of all of the boy things, the blues and the you know, boy clothes and blah, blah, blah. So I just have one boy, which is Micah, obviously. And I only really get him things that I really, really love. So, because I am quite tired of the boy things. So that's why most of my babies are girls. Not because I don't like boys, because I do. I love baby boys as much as I love baby girls. But until I'm not sick of looking at the same colors and styles all the time, I'm gonna probably have mostly girls. So anyways, guys, I can't wait to show her to you. Um, I know the box opening's not going to be like, because she's not brand new. She's only had one. Like the person that has her is her first mommy. Um, so I will be her second owner. And um, so her box opening's not going to be like, uh, like an artist's box opening. It's going to be like a secondhand thing, which is totally fine. I am absolutely 100% okay with that. Um, uh, when, with box openings, I don't really care so much about the stuff. I care about the baby. Um, because I like to get stuff myself. Um, I mean, you know, it's nice to have the extras and everything. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I'm not like, I'm not one of those people that is upset when, you know, you don't have a pretty box opening. Because quite honestly, I don't really care about that stuff. I just care about the baby. So, when I do the box opening video, just keep that in mind. This is going to be probably a basic box opening. Although the lady said that um, she's going to put in some extras and blah, blah, blah. And try to find her something nice and whatever. I don't really care. But um, I cannot wait to show her to you guys. Oh my lord. I don't have any ideas for names. I was thinking Amelia. Mm, probably not. But I don't know. I don't know. So 
I just wanted to get on here and change my babies, obviously, and share that with you guys because, oh my gosh, I am so like, I am pumped. I cannot wait to get this baby. But look at how cute my little Laura is. She's so sweet. So it's a sleeping baby. My new one. She's a sleeper. She's a limited edition. Um, totally sold out. Hard to find. I'm, I'm, yeah, can't believe she's mine. I'm ready to like, I'm dying, seriously. Um, she's not silicone. She's just, she's a vinyl reborn baby. Um, I'm not sure if this lady here is ever going to have a silicone. Um, I have a big family and one income and my kids come first. So, um, this is just a hobby and I'm not gonna, I don't, I don't really see myself being able to ever invest that much in a hobby. You know what I mean? So, unfortunately. I mean, I would love to have a silicone baby. Um, but, and I'm not like, I'm not really sad about that or anything like that. Um, I know some people, their goal is to get a silicone. My goal is just to have a nice collection of babies that I love. That's all I care about. And right now, I'm pretty happy with my collection. Um, especially now that this new baby is coming. Oh my gosh, and I'm sorry to those of you that are so disappointed that I sold Kerrigan. I know that there's a few out there that are just like totally upset. But she's going to a good mommy that has been like, she's kind of been watching <laughs> to see when I sell, when I sold Kerrigan. Because I've been tossing around the idea for quite some time. So she's been on the lookout. And um, I gave her heads up that I was selling her and boom, she paid for her and that was it. So she's she's a good mommy. She's pretty well known in the Instagram reborn community. Um, I'm not going to tell you who she is. She if I don't even know if she has a YouTube account, but I don't want to throw her under the bus and you know steal her glory and all that kind of stuff. I'll let her tell you who she is. But anyways, here's Laura. She looks so stinking sweet. Look at how cute. I love this little um, Carter's. I think it's vintage. Um, this little romper. It's so sweet on her. Oh, I love it. So, and she looks so cute. Look at her, her hair. I love Laura. Laura, you're my favorite. You're my favorite. Okay, I'm going to put her down. I will put her in my lap until I get one of the other babies in here. We'll go with Kennedy. My little sweetie pie. She's always so grumpy. So grumpy. I don't think she's happy about getting a new sister so shortly after she got here. <laughs> Are you mad about getting a sister? Okay, so Kennedy, my favorite color on Kennedy is pink. I have to sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> Woo, that came out of nowhere. Anyway. My favorite color on Kennedy is pink. Um, she looks very cute in the sweet, soft colors. Um, girly, girly colors. Which is so funny because my friend Janet has a summer rain kit. A sculpt, whatever you call it. Um, and it's a boy and he is all boy. Oh my goodness. All boy. He is so cute. Um, but yeah, my friend Janet has the same sculpt, um, and you could not pass that baby off as a girl. You couldn't. And this one, I put her in boy clothes when I first got her to see if, you know, she would be better as a boy, and there's no way I could pass her off as a boy. She is just a girly, girly little girl, which I'm so glad because, like I said, I want mostly girls. But she is so cute, so sweet and cuddly, and I love her little hands. Um, so anyway, she's going to wear this new little outfit. It's so soft. It's Carter's. So soft. She's going to wear that. And these little pants. I know it's August. And she's wearing fall clothing. But you know what? It's cold here right now. Um, not like cold, like freezing cold. But 
it's not, um, we're not having real summer weather right now, which is totally fine by me. You can bring winter on any day now. Um, but, so I'm just dressing my babies a little bit warmer than usual. Not that they care. What did I put those on first? I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay. So guys, I've been on the hunt for a cute little um, special welcome home outfit for this new baby. And I have had no luck. I don't know. I guess I could have used this, but... Um, what's going on here with your booty? Why can't I get this over your booty? What's going on? I just haven't been able to find something that I'm like in love with for this new baby. And it's kind of hard for me to dress the baby, not dress the babies, but pick out a wardrobe for the babies until I have them. Because I don't know like what they're going to look best in. And this baby that I got, um, the owner, the person I bought her from, doesn't have a lot of pictures of her on her Instagram feed. Because she was a baby that um, this owner had on a different Instagram account, which I didn't know. So, and yes, I know it sounds kind of shady, but it's not. I, this girl is really well known on in Instagram, and I trust her and all that other kind of stuff. So, and she did send me quite a few pictures personally, and um, I, I am so excited. So, anyways, so I don't really know um, what kind of clothes she's gonna look good in because the pictures I got were of her in a onesie or of her cloth body, and you know the kind of pictures you send to somebody who's buying a baby from you so I didn't really get to see her style very well and I'm pretty sure she had her as a boy when she first got this doll but then changed it to a girl look at how sweet oh my gosh oh she's so cute okay so I'm gonna put these socks back on her and I'm gonna put some booties on her I know that in a lot of the country, kids have gone back to school today. Today's the first day of school. But here in upstate New York, our kids don't go back to school till the beginning of September. Which is nice. But, you know, in other parts of the country, their kids get out of school either late May or early June. Our kids get out of school in late June. So, you know, it obviously evens itself out, but... Um, I'm glad my kids are still home. They're out in the living room playing. Okay, so hats. This one, or this one that matches her booties. Probably the one that matches her booties. Good lord, she's so cute. I love her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, Kennedy. She is precious. I love her. Love, love, love her. Who would have thought that I would love her so much? But I do. And now it's... Here's my big man. Here's my big man. So cute. All right, Kennedy. You go over here with Laura. There you go. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, my gosh, you guys. They are so cute. I love these babies. Okay. Micah. That was a lot of pink anyways. You know, Laura has all pink. And Kennedy has all pink. You know, Micah's going to wear this little hat and this little outfit. I cannot wait to put this on him. It's so cute. So let's get started. He's gorgeous painted hair. He's got such fantastic painted hair. I'm talking a mile a minute. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just so excited and I haven't made a video in quite some time I've been so busy with my children which I'm not going to complain about because that's the important thing is my children oh boy look at that
at this little sleeper. Isn't it cute? It's got pretzels and dinosaurs and what is that? Awesome sauce. This little symbol says awesome sauce. Rad and lightning bolts and pizza, footballs. It's just so boy, you know? So cute. All right, big guy. Get your new outfit on. This is, by the way, next baby, first size. Let me double check that just to make sure. Yes, next first size. And I don't really think I've ever put him in this color before. Um, I kind of steered away from the reds and all that stuff since I've had, um, I don't know if you guys remember Gabriel. He was the Charles, real born Charles sculpt. Um, he looked horrible in reds. <laughs> and Kerrigan did not look good in reds either. And so I just had a bunch of babies all at once that did not look good in reds. So I just didn't get any reds. So here I am going to try some reds on this baby. And Laura looks really sweet in red as well. So Christmas time is going to be fun dressing babies in red. And it looks like he looks good in red. This is more of a dark, dark salmon than red, but still, my gosh, is he the cutest thing ever or what? Look at him. Look at him, he's so cute. Oh, I love him. Just the overalls on. Now I know that the legs on these are a little bit short because Micah's legs are long. So it's going to look a little wonky at first, but once I get his socks and his booties on, it's going to look just fine. I hope, because I do not want to get rid of this outfit. It is just the cutest thing. There we go, big boy. Come here. Oh, he's so big. I've got Michael weighted so heavily. Just because I prefer my babies to actually feel like the real weight of actual babies. And I love how heavy he is. Because when I hold him, he feels so real. There we go. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, my niece is having a baby. I told you that. And her and her boyfriend were here um, the other day. Um, well, she's, she's almost always here. But he was here the other day. And... Um, he was saying how he hasn't held a baby in so long and he doesn't know how he's going to do and all that other kind of stuff. So I brought Micah out to him and he was a little freaked out at first because Micah's so realistic looking. So, um, you know, he looked at him and everything and, and then he wanted to hold him. So I, I let him hold Micah. He was just completely amazed with Micah. Um, it was really cool to see. My niece is already seen and held these babies and she thinks they're pretty amazing. I gotta, I gotta tighten these up a little bit. But um, it was just really cool to see him holding a baby. They're gonna be, I hope they're gonna be okay you guys. They're so young. It's so scary. But um, I went with her to her first ultrasound and heard the baby's heartbeat. And it was a beautiful sound, guys. And we cried. Yeah. But, you know, you can't, is it what we wanted to have happen? No. But are we going to continue to be, you know, Debbie Downers about it? No, we're not. We're going to actually be excited about it at this point because it's happening whether we like it or not, right? And at this point, I'm fine with it. She's happy about it. Um, her dad is no longer in the picture. Thank goodness. Um, so... We are just choosing to be happy and excited. And I can't wait to plan her baby shower and and buy her little things and and to hold that little baby squish. <laughs> I can't wait to have another little baby around. Um, but yeah, what was I saying all that for? Oh, because I introduced my dad to Matthew. So yeah, um, so... I am slowly introducing my babies to my family. My friends, most of my friends know about them and think they're really awesome. But, um, my family's a different story. Alright, so there's Micah. He looks so cute. Look at him. His little new outfit. I gotta get his little hat on. Oh, I do love his hair. There he is. 
Aw, I actually like it without the hat. Oink. All right, so there he is. Let me get you a little closer to my boy. Look at how cute he is in his little outfit. Look at the back. So cute. All right, so there he is, guys. This video is 20 minutes long. You've listened to me ramble on for 20 long minutes. Come here, you. Ugh. Move over, Micah. Move over. Is your sister in here? So, here's my little ones. My littles. And here, let me prop them up just a smidgen. Look at how sweet they are. I love these two. And then here is the queen. <laughs> oh, I messed up her hair in the back. All right, guys, I guess that's it for now. Um, I'm going to be thinking of baby names and hopefully nesting a little bit for the new one. And uh, if you guys have any name suggestions, you can pop it down below. I know it's kind of hard to name a baby when you don't know what it looks like and all that kind of stuff, but I'm always open to suggestions and I think it's fun to have suggestions. So, um, yeah, oh, my ring is all twisted. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for the new baby, let me know. If you have any guesses about who the new baby is, you can feel free to guess. I think that would be fun too. Um, so I will come back on hopefully soon before the baby gets here, I'm hoping. And I'll give you any updates and whatever. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.